Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, and happy holidays and Merry Christmas, you guys. Ah, oh, man, tis the season to be jolly, tis the season to be merry, and tis the season to hit the movie theater. <laughs> That, that's just me. We got to watch the movies during the holidays. And whether that's at home, you know, with hot chocolate, hot tea, or maybe you're hitting that eggnog, or it's grabbing your whole family and going to the movies to see the latest and the greatest or see it again for a second time. It is the season that everyone gets to spend with family and friends and then also be able to take time off from work to think and reflect, you guys. And that's what Tuesdays has been about over the last couple of weeks is as we gear up towards the new year, as we gear up to maybe even having that new slate or looking at our life and making those changes, it is so important that we think about where we are, where we're going, where we want to go, maybe where we don't want to go anymore, and make those changes now. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been counting down with you guys 17 concepts that are tracking, that are showing with entrepreneur.com, inc.com, and even some of the biggest gurus that if you were to pick up one of these concepts, if you don't know what to do or you're looking for a change, and you went hard in 2023 that you can build a life, you can build income, and you can build a future. And we've gotten all the way to counting down 12, and next week I'll be bringing the top five. But this week, you guys, I really kind of wanted to put that aside, and I wanted to come a little bit to my fun spot, which is all about our mindset, a little bit to our superhero super suit, which is how we're suited up. And then definitely when it comes to the biggest thing of all, what we walk on and how we walk is our belief. What we believe, what we believe in and how we believe makes the difference of how you start something, but more importantly, how you go and how you end. And today, you guys, our focus is one that I'm in love with just because I love topics like this because this is where it starts, is when it comes to your mindset, how you think, how you react. And ladies, I'm gonna say it, our emotional track. I'll say it, how we even get emotional about things. This is what we're going to be discussing. And our topic today is exponential thinking. I'm going to say it again because I like that word, exponential thinking. You know, when we grow up, we're actually taught something different. We're taught linear thinking, and we're going to talk about that. So let's get started, you guys. And so let me tell you where all of this came from. And oh my God, I love the way that looks. <laughs> Had a little screen pop up to give me a preview. That looks so cool. That little Christmas tree, I like it. Uh, man, I was sitting here on my couch the other day, and for those of you who don't know, my number one actor is Tom Cruise. I know that, he, you know, I, I feel y'all, but this is my boy, this is my man, all the way going back to the outsiders, to all the right moves. I mean, ah, this is my boy. And, and everything about him, I like more him than I, I do all the characters. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love every single movie pretty much with the exception of one or two that he's done because they're all about his mindset being reflected in his movies. So when you go and watch a movie with Tom Cruise, you're not just sitting there talking about the character, Ethan Hunt. What do you say sitting in your seat? Oh my gosh, look at what Tom is doing. Because you know that Tom is one of those actors that does all of his stunts. He's that one to where when it comes to getting it done, when it comes to even elevating what was done before, and when it comes in the way in which to do it, Tom Cruise is like, well, what did we do last time? We must crank that up a notch. And when it comes to showing what could be done, what he does shows us that anything can be done because his mindset is not linear. His mindset is exponential. And I got the privilege of watching a preview of the movie's Mission Impossible that he's got in the works right now. Part one and part two of a series that I'm so excited about. And he launched it and it was cool. He did two different videos that he put out. One was to thank his fans 
for just supporting Top Gun because my Lord, that's exponential growth right there. Exponential following and box office records. That's exactly what he did. And boy, if you go watch that video, he's literally in this, I guess it's a plane, but you don't realize it. And then all of a sudden you don't realize that now he's floating on air. Oh, come on, Tom. I loved it. But I love the video where they're showing him in a scene and he says, look, I wanna just show y'all what we're working on with the new Mission Impossibles. And my whole breath was taken away. I literally was sitting on my couch having a moment to myself because I'm like, oh my gosh, what he was doing with the motorcycle. And I don't wanna tell you because I want you to go and look. Just go type in Tom Cruise and go to his page and you will see it. It's on YouTube, it's on Facebook. That is the type of mindset that I'm talking about. That is the type of focus that we have got to have when it comes to where we are today and what we've done. But more importantly, when it comes to what we're gonna do tomorrow and the day after that and the future. I love Tom Cruise's movies because it shows everything is not only possible, it shows that anything <laughs> is possible. And that's where we gotta go in our mindset, in our heart, with our plan and our actions, and even how big we move and step by leaps and bounds is exactly where we have to go. And so I wanna take a look at this. And some of my insert information, I got it from wealthfit.com, wealthfit.com. And it's not just about money. It's about having a wealth, which they take out the W and it's a health life. A wealth is a healthy life. And then they added on fit, which means it's a fit life. It can endure. It's strong. It can overcome. It can go through anything and win and persevere. This is what I love about this particular website. Again, that's wealthfit.com. And so I got a lot of information from them. However, it was already like things that I already wanted to bring, but I love some of the things that they put on their website. So I grabbed some of that. So I want to give a shout out to them. And so I love this. And I'm just going to kind of read down this and then discuss you guys. They say that there are some people that excel at everything they do. No matter what they do, you see them soar. It could be something that's never been done before, something that's been done but didn't work, or something that's working a little bit. But the moment that they put their hands to it, it goes poof. <laughs> and then they say, but there's some that can't even catch a break. No matter what they do, they can't touch much. And when it does, it goes a little bit, but, or they're having difficulty cracking the code to get it to explode or get to the next level. And they say, and I'm telling you, I'm agreeing, 100% TA is down with this thinking or I wouldn't be bringing it. It's because of how we were taught and the way that we must think. We were taught linear thinking, and I'm gonna go over what that means, opposed to exponential thinking. One of the quotes that I love, and, and it, just because I quote somebody doesn't mean that I'm all down with all their beliefs or what they do. But to me, if somebody says something that's pretty powerful and it's wisdom, I can take it. I don't have to be down with everything that they're doing, or I don't have to say that because I'm taking it, I'm standing with them in it. And this is from Bill Gates, and I like this, he says, we always overestimate the change that will occur, underestimate the change that will occur in the next 10 years. We always overestimate the change that will occur, and he says maybe in the next year or the next two years, we overestimate it. We think everything's gonna be great, everything's gonna be fine, so we end up chilling. We end up doing just enough, and you're gonna hear me say that again, or just a little bit, but he says the failure comes when we underestimate the change that will occur in the next 10 years. And he says, don't let yourself be lulled into inaction. Think about it. What we think is going to happen and what we believe in very much dictates our action, what we're going to do about it, the way in which we're going to do it and how big we're going to do it. You know, I, I can honestly say that because a linear thinking, we're going to talk about that, is so how we have been developed, it is something that we're going to have to be cognitive 
then we're going to have to take a step out, and I've really been talking about that, unplug to really assess and change up some things. We need to develop a mindset that is unshakable no matter what we endure, no matter what we face. Imagine if we had an unshakable mindset before COVID came. If we had planned not in what we could see just a year ahead of us or two years, what if we planned for things that were 10 years out? Where do you think we would have been? A lot of us are just, you know, working on our plan day to day and month to month, never making sure the plan that they're working on is lining up things for the future, lining up things five, 10, 15 years from now. They're very systematic, linear thinking, very logic thinking, linear thinking, Dr. Spock thinking versus Captain Kirk, you know? This is where we are. We've gotta make sure that the plan that we have for our life, what we're gonna be going after in the new year, has a, what I'm gonna call, a man of steel, okay? Or a strong force or some exponential robust fire motors like Iron Man so that we can go by leaps and bounds and endure whatever is ahead of us, no matter what. Also, it states that highly successful and happy people practice exponential thinking. And let me tell you why, is because when they're planning ahead and they're going by leaps and bounds and going after it, well, there's not too many things that are going to be able to shake their surface, shake their mind, or even if there's a devastation, they're not dealing with all of these things falling apart. Maybe they're just dealing with the one thing facing them in life that is either causing them to feel devastated or it's causing them to have some issues momentarily, or they can go and actually give themselves the time they need to go do what they do. So many times we're doing things in our life that comes up and we unplug completely from it, never having a plan during that time to make sure that when we're ready to hop back in, we're good to go. A lot of us react and do based on our emotions in that moment, like Bill is saying, just what's happening in that year, we base it off of that, never, ever, ever preparing for the future. And I love that. And I love the last thing here. Growth only happens when something is increased. Mm. This means in order for us to grow, in order for us to do more, in order for us to evolve, and I'm gonna say that word probably a couple times because we were made to evolve. We were not made to say the same. If you're living the same life over and over and over and everything is just systematic, check in, check out, clock in, clock out, I'm just gonna tell you and don't throw popcorn at me unless I'm ready to catch it, <laughs> then we're good, okay? But here's the thing, I'm gonna say it because somebody loves you needs to. That's not what you were made for. You were made to be great. You were made to do something big. You were made to be revolutionary. You were made to change the tide. You were made to be the one to make it happen, to create it, to instigate it, to blow it up. You were made for more. And that means that I'm going to say it and don't hate me. You're living your life just in the moment and for you. Never, ever, like Bill is saying, thinking about the future and what you can do. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fired up about this one. Uh, so let's talk about, okay, TA, you're saying linear. I think I know what that means, but what does it mean? And so I'm gonna dive in here, you guys, and I'm just gonna go down this list. So if you see me, yeah, I'm reading, because I don't want to forget anything. Linear thinking is predictable thinking. Logical thinking, where you think in increments, small steps. And this linear thinking only believes that what they can see is what can be done. And here's some characteristics. They are blinded by the future. They have a hard time accepting and believing in what has not been done. You tell them something, well, who's done that before? Where's your statistics? What does it say that? <laughs> and they're always those persons that I'm gonna tell you if you're trying to do something new. <sighs> do me a favor, build it get it down, get a bunch of people already anchored, then go talk to that person. Because what that person is good for is just telling you things you missed, not things that now you need to go Trump at all. I'm just letting you know that, okay? <laughs> 
I, I got somebody in my life that I love. And I, and I told my brother, because he knows he, if he watches this, he's laughing. That's what my brother is. When I go to my brother, I've already got it kind of built a little bit. And then I'll go to him because, man, I my brother has got a brain that will pick something apart so much that you get to check it off. Like, yep, 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 yep. Ooh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> but don't go throw it away. Okay, a, a Lydia person criticizes the impossible and the ability to achieve it. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Guess why one of the reasons why they do it? It's because they didn't do it. It's because they believe they can't do it. And there's a little bit of that thing in them that doesn't want you to do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and just jump ahead and tell you that one right there. Uh, linear thinking only goes with what they see and what can be measured. That means, can it be measured? Is there proof that can be validated to support this information? You know, is there anything like studies that have been done or can we do a study first to go and test it first so we can measure the results and then see, okay? A linear thinking plays it safe. They worry about risk versus getting excited about the gain that they can have. Okay, they're logical thinking, like I said, like I said, I let some things out the bag already. They think more like Dr. Spock. Dr. Spock and Captain Kirk did not think the same. Everything was logical to Dr. Spock, okay, or Dr. Dr. Spock, Spock, let's just call him Spock. <laughs> I think it as a doctor, I love him by the way, but Spock was very logical. A and B had to equal to C. And then after C, hello, it's D. What do you mean it's something else? Where Captain Kirk was all about what, what needs to happen, what's gotta happen. Let's think about the future. Let's go for it. Let's take the risk. There is nothing else but that. And you saw them after every episode, every movie, they always won. Just gonna say that real quick, okay? It's also somebody who thinks linear. Oh, this is a big one for job security. Ooh, those of you who have a job, okay, they're easily replaced. They're easy to be replicated. They're not extraordinary. They're ordinary. You can find that thinking or them on any aisle at Walmart or you pull your phone out, you can get it on Amazon and get it delivered the next day by prime. Okay, just letting you know, okay? They're very efficient and simple and they draw a singular line based on going from one point to the next. There's no other way to get there but straight. Straight is the fastest way. Sorry, can't hear that. Sorry, don't understand that. And their mind gets challenged. So a lot of times when they're challenged, I'm gonna say it again, they poke at you and tell you it's you because their mind has never, ever, ever been challenged to think beyond what a playbook says, what the rules says and the guidelines, the stats, what's been done or what they've been done. They just cannot compute that language for some reason. Okay, and they're very organized. Matter of fact, it takes them longer time to do things <laughs> because they're so like, everything's gotta be organized, okay? And it takes them longer than literally being able to move quicker and faster because your mind is more focused on what's ahead of you than all of these things need to be in order. All these things have gotta happen first. Wow, again, but that's how we've been taught. Okay, you go to school, and then after school, you go to college, you get a degree, and then you start a job, and you build your way up, and then you get promoted, okay? You are a baby, then you're a teenager, then you become a young adult, then you get a job, then you get married, then you have a family. Boy, did we so trump that, right? <laughs> and then everything is so structured. Woo, there it is. And they are rule-based. Well, I'm sorry, it's not what the rule book says. The guideline doesn't say that. What it says or what they say is this, that they have the hardest time grabbing you because they're all about what everybody else said what they've done and anything new is so hard for them to grab because, oh, that's a risk. I'd rather go where everybody else is gone than to do something new. That's linear thinking. And the downfall with linear thinking is that this leads to mediocrity. Okay, it leads to being unhappy and feeling of stuck because now, and I say it, you're just about these things, never realizing that you are worth more, you could do more. You just see yourself in these positions. You just see yourself doing just this. You just see yourself, if it's not these things that you know, then you don't even feel worthy or value because this is all you know. 
There's never been anything more different that you've done. So man, it leads to feelings of unhappiness, okay? And it leads to a stuck feeling. Only lives based on the normal, goes by what others do and others speaks. Again, repeating myself, but I'd rather do that. Hammer that in then. Goes with the flow versus leading and being the first to do it revolutionary. Again, going back to Tom Cruise, man, he just elevated movies. I think he's the reason why our James Bond started kicking up. Come on. I think Tom just like, think about it. He's a spy. Hello. He's an operative. So the moment you see Tom Cruise going and flying and jumping and leaping and everything, you think you could come with James Bond and he just runs on ground. Come on. Daniel Craig had to take it up a notch. And I just got to be honest, he was the right man that could do that. We had to see the impossible and those operatives had to compete. Okay. And boy, did they, okay. Just I'm in a movie mode. It's the holidays. And then next you guys, um, they're content. They're content with just enough. Okay. Just enough. But I'm telling him to say it again, but at some point in their life, they're not happy. Okay, because they know deep down inside that they were meant to do more, but they didn't. We were built that way. We were made that way. So when you don't do more and you've just done this, I'm telling you, you will feel a emptiness and you will feel like you didn't do maybe what it was you wanted to do or you could have done once more, but scared to dare big. Not dream big, dare big. We can dream big. Oh, we're good at that. We're great dreamers. I meant dare. Go out, do it. Go out and get it. Dare big. Go, go for it. That means you're leaping and you're flying and you don't know if you have, you know, an airbag or if there's an ocean, you don't know if you got floaties. That just means you went for it. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of people got to make sure they got all of that stuff. And by the time they go make sure they got all that stuff, they missed it. <laughs> And they build the life one step, one phase at a time. That's linear thinking. Are you a linear thinker? Hmm. Do you know people who are? And maybe that's why you have a hard time clicking with people because you're, <laughs> you're, you're totally the opposite. Or are you that? And you know, man, that is something TA that I know I've got to work on. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's go to exponential thinking. Oh my gosh. And this is where I like to live. This is my superhero place. Do, do, do. I can see myself like dancing with, with Gene Kelly <laughs> with the song that matches this. Cause boy, I'm singing in the rain. Cause I am exponential thinking. This is unpredictable. You can't predict what they're going to do next. I'm sorry, but they're consistent. Woo. I like that. They're unpredictable. But whatever they're doing, they're consistent in their actions. They are irrational. But man, all of a sudden, it makes sense. Oh, I love this. And they don't believe in just walking and stepping face to face. They're a superhero. We only go by leaps and bounds like Superman. They just leap and leap and leap. And you're like, wow, how do you do it? What are you doing, my Lord? But not realizing they're built to do the same thing. And they believe in what has not been done or seen because they want to be the ones to do it. They like going where no man has gone before. They like saying, well, everybody is over there, but if I go over here, everything is wide open to me. <laughs> they're the ones, they're not followers. I can't tell you how many people come to me and say, well, TA, this is what everybody is doing. This is what everybody, you know, is watching. This is, I, I, I'm going to tell you, and all that does to me is make me ground myself and say, I ain't moving. <laughs> It makes me drill like a little animated cartoon character. D -d 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 I, I'm just like, no, this hole's not big enough. We can go deeper down. I'm like, no, I don't want to go where everybody goes. Everybody's over there. It's crowded. I like having all this space over here. I like being different. I like doing it different. I like what hasn't been done before. I love it. And guess what? That is what it takes in order to truly be able to become who you were written to become, do what you were destined to do, but to also have that inner happiness as well. You're not meant just to be a manager. You're not meant just to be the teacher. You're not meant just to, now don't get me wrong, what you do is powerful, but do you understand that we were made to do more than that? Oh, I'm going to hammer that one. 
And so these are the characteristics of an exponential person on top of everything else that I said. They keep their eye on their prize. Man, you're going to see them be consistent. No matter how many years have gone by, you will see that they've been doing and focused on the same thing. But man, the way in which they get it done or they've added on other avenues or other divisions or other things, but their heart and their mindset is the same. They're not all over the place. They're focused focused on what it is that they've decided is going down. Tom Cruise couldn't be all over the place. You got to go see it. It's this motorcycle and you got to go see what he does. Oh my God. And not only does it the first time and nails it, but then when they go and bring him back from the helicopter, he looks at the guy and says, I think we need to do it again. Come on. Because the next characteristics, they care about it being perfect to the best that it could be. Because I love what Tom says. This isn't just about us. This is about giving my fans or people watching the ability to be taken somewhere, to, to be elevated, and now what they can go and do. Man, I love that they know that what they're doing elevates other people. They end up being a rippler that affects her, everybody else. They end up cracking the surface, paving a new way, and guess what? Other people now know they can go there. I love that because they're so focused. They focus on larger and wider scales and the future potential. They know that things are paid dividends over time. Okay, well, this is that here and now mindset. Okay, this is the here and now. Great, we've done it. Check it off. That check off mindset. Okay, well, great. While I'm checking it off, I'm going to focus on something in the future so that these things can happen. These things now are able to produce. They have a bigger vision. They don't just have a narrow. And if they do, they think, well, we need to keep beating this up. It needs to be bigger. They're unique, they're rare, and they stand apart. They're not found with other people. They stand apart. And most superheroes do, by the way. Doesn't look to the past to predict the future. I don't care what's happened in the past. I don't care what hasn't been done. I don't care what's been done to you. Do you realize it's a new day? But if you're grabbing all that junk and making it be with you, you can't even fly anyway. This crap is heavy. <laughs> Good luck. Because I know if I stacked up all my stuff from all my years, I just need to sit down. And that's what you feel like. No energy, no drive, no belief, no nothing, because you're so dang tired from carrying all this stuff. I like that they understand that what they're focused on has nothing to do with what's happened in the past because they're focused on the future. They got to cut this. They can't take it. They can't think about it. And they got to start new. Now, they can learn from that. That's one thing, but not take it with them. Okay, they also look for multiple ways to achieve the goal. Okay, so I know we're going to do this, but what else can we do? And I can't tell you how many times I have people saying, well, this is just a lot. Okay, you're focusing on so many different things. Well, let me tell you what, people who are exponential understand, I'm not about to go waste three years trying in one way and then realize it doesn't work, where I can stretch myself. And those are people who like to work, exponential likes to work hard. Everybody else wants it easy. They're like, well, what if I tried it five different ways and I'm probably going to find out quicker which one works? Or man, what if they all do? I'm going to be further along doing more than what I want and being able to contribute more, being able to build more. Why wait? And then I'm going to say my little tidbit, I'm getting older. I don't know how long I've gotten life. I better be hitting my prime while I can. <laughs> I better be exerting myself while I've got the energy. The time is now, you guys. So, oh my God, I absolutely love this. Y'all can tell I love this topic. And then the other ways, man, I already said this, works hard. I just said that they work hard. They've got a work ethic that is out of this world. You think, my God, all you do is work hard. And people complain and always want to poke at you. You just work too much. You just always work. All you do is work, work, work. All I do is sit there and say, okay, well, why aren't you working? I know my life means something and I know that I can do something. So you're one of those, that's what I say. <laughs> I don't say it to them, but I'm thinking it and I don't mind exposing it right now. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> that is truly what I feel like, well, okay, well, that's your life over there. Stop judging mine. 
This ain't about you. This is my life. You go do your life then. Nobody asked you <laughs> to come over here. I'm working so hard. And if this ain't about you, then move on, boo-boo. It's okay. <laughs> this is me. This is how I am. Which brings the next one. Most exponential people not only have a work ethic, it's not work to them. Oh, that was so good, Lord. Ooh, it's who they are. They could not do it even if they tried because they see opportunities left and right and see what people will drop or see if people drop it, what will happen, that it's just automatic for them to pick up and go. They can't help it. It's who they are. They become that. They become that person. It's not like a clock in, work, clock out. That's who they are. It's their behavior. It's their makeup. It's their whole being. They work hard. They also, number nine, so important, this is the most important one, they believe that wrestling is real. <laughs> Just so you'll know. They believe that all Disney, Pixar, they believe wrestling is real. They believe that every single movie is real. Not just the documentaries and the biographies. Everything is real. Because they believe that anything can be done. Oh, see, that's where I was going with that one. Anything can be done. So movies to them or things like that, they're like, yeah, that could happen. Heck yeah, that could happen. Where you sign and see the other people, they're always people well, that didn't happen. That's not how they do it. You know, that's, that's wrong. They didn't even do it right. I can't stand people like that. Well, let me see your butt get up and do what they did. <laughs> they ain't gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. Okay, also you guys in the last one, they understand that they can do more also with working with the team than going solo. They are not an I person. They are always looking at taking people with them or being able to go shoulder to shoulder. They understand that when they partner with people, does not make them nothing less? They are still the head of their life. They are still a leader and they don't sit there and size people up as a way of making sure that they're not better than them. Matter of fact, they like working with people who are better than them because they know that iron sharpens iron and that makes you rub off where a lot of people are I people just focus on themselves. And I think, man, what you could do if you had a team of Avengers, Hello, you could snap your finger and everything resets. <laughs> now you got to go get all of the, you know, the, yeah, you understand. You got to go get all the crystals. Yeah, I got it. But still, you could do it with a team. That was good. But it's hard to do it. One person in Endgame couldn't get it done. A whole team had to get it done. And look what they did. They reset time. They saved a freaking universe. Come on. Woo, I like that one. Now, last but not least, how do we shift, TA? Okay, I feel you. Okay, I'm working on my plan. I'm thinking about the new year. What do I do, TA, to just shift my mind? I'm gonna go through these quick because I'm live today and I have realized when I'm live because I'm interacting with you guys, I take longer than when I'm pre-recording. Number one, first thing you need to do is you gotta go get knowledge. Go learn. Go start watching, you know, things that teach your mind, not crap. Go start diving into things that educate you and get you more wise. Studies have shown that most people live a linear life just because they've never started to learn how to do new things or they started and stopped. Well, I'm going to learn how to do this. And they said it and was excited, but they never did it. They got all these things that they always said they were going to do piled up, but never did anything. They're talkers, not doers. Okay. This is about knowledge that's going to grow your wisdom. Okay, this is about getting education. This is about lifting your lid to thinking. When you get educated, then now your way of thinking becomes challenged. It becomes poked at. And now you can elevate. Think about it. You poke holes. You know, now things can actually get in and grow. Okay, become educated. Do not think, and I love this, that what you got and what you did to get here is what you can still do to get there. It requires something different. Your knowledge got you here. Based on moving forward and growing, we were made to grow and evolve. You've got to learn more. You've got to stay educated, okay? Which is why don't listen to the other stuff and spend hours, seven to 11 hours watching crap. Focus and watch and learn and read things that are going to grow your knowledge and your wisdom so that you can now become more, which now increases your belief which now makes you stronger to go after it and endure it and achieve more things. Next, number two, man, get out and experience new and more things. Explore it. You've never done it, go do it. 
Never hung out with it, go hang out with them, okay? This is where make a list of about two to three things that you want to do new next year that you're going to do new. And I am going to say it. And if it's things that you can learn how to do new, learn how to do new things. A lot of people, and I say this humbly, say, my gosh, what don't you know? And I'm just going to say this for a second. I was forced to learn all of this stuff. I didn't have it where people gave it to me or I had it where people just did it for me. I literally had my, my, my maker say, you want to know it? You're going to learn it. And I would be challenged to learn new things every single year, every single year. Plus PS, when you're a single mama, you better learn. You got a baby, you better learn because you need to provide a life and how can you do it minimum wage, or I'm going to say it, how can you do it at a job, only a job, when if that job goes away, where are you? Which is why I'm going to say it again and I'm going to plug it. Start a business, God, come on, start two or three so that a job goes away, you're still standing single mom and dads, come on, or families that are putting kids through college. Don't just do one thing, man, that one thing better hit it and nail it all the time. And things change with that one thing. Ah, oh, sorry, that leaked in. <laughs> Always learn how to do something new every single year. Next, don't just set goals, stretch them. Don't just say, okay, well, I didn't do that. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to try to do it again. Don't you dare. Or if you've achieved it, you're not done. What can you do more? Stretch your goal. Okay. Take it to the next level. Goes back to Tom Cruise's movie. Man, we did that already. We got to go to the next level. Okay. We got to take it to the top. We got to take it over. Man, always keep yourself on a bike going up a hill. <laughs> take a break, but get back in that intensity. Grow yourself. Because if you don't grow it, you lose it. Oh, I know you know that one. Okay. Don't just set goals for the new year. Stretch them. Be sociable. Don't be a hermit. Don't be somebody who doesn't like people so much because you're so busy telling off everybody that you can never keep friends and nobody likes you. And even if they think they like you in the beginning, you just pissed and pooped in that area. So guess what? They're gone because do you realize we still need people and people are the thing that also will open up doors for you. And the more you know people and not just the people you're comfortable with, meet people that challenge you. Don't feel like if y'all don't agree, you can't be. No, that's in your life, in your home, and in your marriage. Because to me, then man, you're limited versus surrounding yourself from different people allows you to learn more and grow more. And then I said it earlier, become the Avengers and you can kick Thanos's butt and snap your finger and the whole world resets again. This is just truly where you guys, a lot of us, the moment that we don't like their personality or I like what Morgan Freeman says, the moment that somebody disagrees with you, you think they don't like you or you start to not like them. We've got to, as he says, really unlearn that. Come on. To me, I want to know. I want to take in as much information, but at the same time, and I've said this on Thursdays, I'm not drinking from your cup. I'm listening, but I'm not eating it and I'm not drinking, but I don't mind if it's things that are about education, things that are about wisdom and growing, not the other crap, then 100%. And especially if I see that you're doing it well, why would I not give you that mad respect? My God, some of us are so worried about telling somebody they're doing something great because it means that we're not. Man, I want you to know how great you're doing. And I want to lock arms versus, again, sizing you up. Oh, man, be sociable. And if you find you don't like people, I'm going to say this, work on that. Work on that. Say it one more time. Whew. Work on that. And then my last two, challenge yourself. You must grow to evolve. I said that one. And then the last one, I'm going to quote my man, Tom Cruise. Don't be careful. Be confident. And there's nothing you can't do. I love that quote. He said, literally, they were like, Tom, you know, and they were just interviewing him and he's getting all suited up, you know? Oh my God. He goes, hey, in the wind's blowing, he goes, do not be careful. <laughs> Take risk. Be confident. I thought, come on, Tom. And you just saw him douche. I thought, oh, that's it. That's it. Uh, that's what it takes, you guys. It starts first in our mind and our belief that we can do and be anything. And then to not be so scared, to dare big, to set goals, but raise them up to challenge yourself and to do more and create a life that, again, you were meant 
and made to do. You were meant to be and do many things and be the head of many things, not just one. And the life that you can create, not just for you, but for your family, for your kids, for your grandkids, but man, we're superheroes. We were meant to create that life. <laughs> So that even in a time like this, can you imagine if you had extra income, how many people you could bless right now in times where people don't have food to eat or a shelter to sleep in or a blanket to stay warm or don't even know how they're going to pay their utility bill? My Lord, you could just be that thing I said, that dream giver superhero where your suit's in white with a big old D, dream giver, you know, reindeers, bring it in, you know, come on, <laughs> reindeers number two, hey. I got 15. I'm not done. Hold up. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. So with that, man, a happy holidays. Happy New Year. Make sure I'm ready to go. Uh, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next year and be blessed, you guys. And make sure to always be suited up because it is time for us to unleash that superhero within for victory over every part of our life. Bye-bye, you guys. I'll see you after the new year. <laughs>